Hello everybody, welcome to another indie game. This one is MMM, or The Murder Most Misfortunate. It's kind of like a clue game made on the Unity engine. And I found it on Itch.io, but from what I read, it's also on Steam, in case you want to take a look at it. But it's kind of like Clue, as in you get out to search around for stuff and find the murderer and who knows what else. So we're just going to dive right in and see what we can find. Um, I think there's a bit of talking through some of it, so just have patience. And we will get to the interesting story parts. Real-time mystery. When enabled, you will have to solve the mystery within a limited time period. A clock will appear in the top right-hand corner during sections where this time limit is counting down. This option is included for those who like tension. Alright, well I'm not going to include that because I want to be able to figure it out. And I want to have the best opportunity possible to figure this out for this gameplay and I don't want to be rushed. I can always edit down if I start taking too long, but let's try this out, shall we? Left click on this text or press... Okay, press this to... Really? Okay. Yeah, I caught all that. My dear Miss Fortune, I hope this letter finds you well. I did so enjoy our little discussion of the work of Guy de Mauvaisier the last time we met. Who? I would like to cordially invite you to an intimate gathering of mine on the evening of the 27th. We will be celebrating my recent acquisition. Is it just me or did two different people write this? And I think you are just the one to properly appreciate it. I look forward to your RSVP in the affirmative. Most That's his way of saying, use, just say yeah. Prince Titanical. Prince who? It was at an art auction, I think think that I first met Prince Titanico. Titanico? He think the world of himself. I, quite frankly, he needs to be careful. I hope he's got enough lifeboat. But if I Horrible only joke. accepted social invitations from people I thoroughly approved, I wouldn't dine out very often. <laughs> okay, so my character's actual personal opinion is the dude's boring. Okay. But... I'm going to say yes, because there's food involved, right? Everybody says yes because there's food involved. It's the I easiest way of getting me out of the house. I limo and laid eyes on the place for the first time. Gothic gargoyles loomed ominously over the old house, and creeping vines wound their way up its walls, as though trying to strangle it. Creepy. The prince had been right. It really was to my taste. <laughs> Apparently I'm creepy. Okay. Good evening, ma'am. May I have your name? Uh, uh... This hulking thug, on the other hand, not so much. Fortune. Miss Fortune. Miss Fortune. Uh, is the Miss a first name or a It's a title? first name. I go yeah. by Miss. My nickname is Miss, with just uh, one S. I like to leave that to the imagination. Left little else in now this region to the imagination, though, butter. right? Am so I right? Why don't you butter on and show me inside? The evening is a bit damp, I dare say. Uh, no, ma'am. I'm not a butler. Just a valet. Yeah, there can't be a butler because if there was my a butler, it'd be Klops. exactly like Clue. Clops. Oh what a terrible shame. Well, butler or valet. You do open doors, don't you? Jeez. Yes, ma'am. Right this way. I'm a little bit of a, uh, um, beach. I didn't say that. I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? Main hall. From Interesting. the cobwebs in the corners and the dust on the railings, it was obvious that the house had been abandoned for some time. Isn't that how most horror stories start? Some Abandoned high houses? Some guests might have been insulted to be invited to a venue in such ill repair, but it didn't bother me. Okay. I realized that the house had been preserved as it was for the effect. <clears throat> Miss Fortune has arrived. Welcome, welcome. Ah, Miss Fortune, good I'm Harry Potter. Uh, there are refreshments on the side table. Please do help yourself. 
Okay. Thank you, Harry. Or Horatio. Why, thank you. <laughs> so, are you the butler? Jeez. Or are you going to tell me you're just, I don't know, the concierge? I can think of a few other names for my uh, character besides Fortune. No, 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 that's not how you say it. My dear Miss Fortune, how are you, darling? How it's are so you, darling? Again. Wow, Southern Belle to a T. Yes, it's been just ages. It's almost hasn't? cringy, actually. I should have known you to be here. You're never one to miss an event on the social circuit. She's saying you get around. I dare say I needed something to cheer me up after my late husband's funeral. And an evening like this is just and the an thing. An evening ju like this is just the thing. Okay. Uh, we're going to ask about her husband? Of course. I was oh so my goodness. sorry to hear about your That's husband. so dramatic. This is your fourth time a widow, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Quite so. Probably the reason why you four went the black. Nine, it all turned purple I after a few washes. Ah, oh, yes. They just keep dropping dead, the poor dears. Nine? It's so hard to find a good man with stamina these days. I've had nine husbands? Oh my, should I be worried? Perhaps you've been cursed. Just don't marry me. We're fine. <laughs> me? Cursed? <laughs> Nonsense. I seem to be doing just fine. But maybe I am bad luck. She's bad to the bone. Na, na, na. Sorry, folks, I couldn't help it. Okay, uh, last Let we met. Let's see. What exactly was it that we last saw each other? It must have been at the Emperor's Ball. The Emperor? Really? Heavens, Ooh, yes. what's going on what with this hand right here? The affair? Were you there Did you just, like, pop it out your back or something? What's going on? All over Duchess Reese's dress. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, yes. That was positively scrumptious, wasn't it? I mean, a shame about the dress, of course. I heard she had it made just for the ball. Such I can't imagine what actually happened, right? Well, given how many people come out nowadays, it was bound to happen to someone. Seriously, what's going on? I even heard the what's going on with this hand? He was sure he felt someone in the crowd give him a little shove. Oh. Can you imagine? <coughs> <clears throat> Surely not. Sorry, folks. These are high lords and ladies we're talking about. No doubt the man is just making excuses for his clumsiness. Yeah. So you didn't shove him? Probably right. <laughs> just an unlucky accident, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Ah, Furs of a feather. Welcome. I'm so delighted that you could come. I trust Horatio has been keeping you entertained. Entertained? Enter oh, I can't yes. do it. La Comtesse and I were just scandalizing your court jester. Or was he a wizard? He's Harry Potter! In any case, scandalizing him with our intimate marriage details. The fact that all of your husbands died are intimate details? <laughs> of course you were. So tell me, what do you think of the house? Is this a... I must admit, Everybody seems when I to be in this little period piece, I immediately thought of you. Okay, so even he thinks you're creepy. It seems melancholy, mysterious, and maybe just a little macabre. So yes, I quite like it so far. Yeah. Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. I will take you on a more detailed tour shortly. I'll take you on a more detailed for tour to later. Okay. And oh, what jeez. What, what, what's going on now. with this hand over here? What's this? What, what's this? Miss Reese and Miss Leah what's this? Have arrived, sir. That is my arm, actually. I've got a jacket over me. I'm sorry. It's cold mm. in here. <laughs> uh, is that the they seem a little young, don't they? The industrial heiress. 
The one who's been throwing all those charity balls ever since she came into her fortune. Um, we got a wizard, a southern bell, a vampire same. temptress, a demon, and two anime characters, My beautiful maybe? Charisse, That's please, what it looks like to me. Come in. Without you, this place is dark and drab, but your radiance rekindles it anew. Okay. You She's a little young kind. for you, dude. Just back off. Oh my! I had heard she was seeing someone. Imagined it was him. Okay. Hmm, indeed. This party just got a little more interesting. These women look like they are on the prowl, and this must be don't Lee, they? The girlhood friend of whom you speak so very highly. Yeah, nice place you got here. If you like entertaining dead people. <laughs> she seems a little cool right there. Dead people? Yeah, I assure you, fair lady, you are perfectly safe here. Yeah. I think it was a critique of the decor, not of our safety. That's scary too, actually. And probably Lee dangerous. doesn't mean it. It's a lovely house. Really. On she seems a little depressive. Miss Leah may be more right than she knows. Until recently, this mansion was the property of the Lee family. Perhaps you know of them. Uh, no. Tell me. I'm sure you want to. Yes, who doesn't? A distinguished family of the nobility with a respected pedigree and a long history of public service and political influence. <sighs> okay. So, short version, some stuffy old rich people. Hmm. Accurate. There we Almost go. There we go. All of the estates I like out her. Here, away from the city were owned by old families. But many have had to sell over the years. It must be a bit sad for them, leaving all that history behind. Oh yeah, very depressive. Very Indeed. melancholy. And especially so for the Lees. Theirs is a tale of tragedy. A tale of tragedy. And it ends, as they so often do, in sorrow and blood. Now that's a little overdramatic, don't you think? <laughs> He points at the sky and suddenly there's thunder. He's a wizard. Come. You're a wizard, Harry. The house itself will tell its share of the tale. Yes, let's investigate the house, shall we? Let's go search out where someone's going to die, right? <laughs> the smoking room. Huh. This is the smoking room. Did the Lee family use this as a quiet place to relax after the evening meals, I wonder? Or was this the proverbial smoke-filled room where secret deals would be struck what and is the this? nations decided? My attention was drawn to a curio cabinet on one side of the room. Some of the a items voodoo doll and a knife with a pillow. This and a foot. You can't forget the foot. Items originals? I believe so. Are those I've the original to toenails? As little as possible about what the is that? It. The Lees were I'm well over here looking at these little dolls eclectic, and, you know, the knife, all these murder things. I'm over here like, whose foot is that? They also say that sorcery ran strongly in the Lee family, you know. Okay. Uh, great. As if we didn't have enough reason to think this place was owned by a bunch of creepers. Owned by a bunch of creepers. Come now. Surely a smart little girl like you doesn't put any stock in old superstitions. Hmm. Magic and superstitions, no. Weird and creepy people, on the other hand, are plenty real. True. No true words were ever spoken, worry, actually. Lady. You're among good company here. Says Harry Potter. <laughs> All right, Horatio, calm down over here, man. Greater detail later, I assure you. For the moment, follow me if you would. Okay, where are we going now? I'm assuming we're gonna get like this tiny tour, and then you know something's gonna happen, and we'll have to investigate 
I'm already con thinking that, you know, maybe in like they a dining room with king. Colonel Mustard and it's going to be the candle house. or something. What is she holding? Is that now, a phone? Do you have a phone? You Put see. the phone away. You're Able breaking character. Lord, as it waits for a new master to take the place of the old. Uh, Fifty Shades so. of what the hell? Cool. Milady, I can call for clubs to bring you a sweater. You light a fire. And while he's at it, perhaps also a textbook on metaphorical versus literal language. Hmm. Um. You are so kind, but I'm fine. It's just the atmosphere of this place. Okay. I have to say it. The Vivian's acting, the voice acting the is great. The dialogue the is like revolution. really cheesy. But like uh, cheesy in a good way, but cheesy. Time, they chose the losing side. <laughs> in many ways, the family never recovered. Apparently not, they if they had to sell. They never recovered financially at the very least. Thus the sale of this very house. Oh, there she goes with that hand again. What's going on? It's almost as if old money runs out if you're not smart with it. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> I like her so much. I like her. Quite so. What's going on with your but arm? At least the house has gone to those who can appreciate its history. Yeah, I appreciate the history of all of the cobwebs. Thank you. Oh boy, someone really scribbled on that. The queen's bedroom, and they scribbled on that. Someone was mad at those pictures. This is the queen bedroom, and it has a fascinating story. Like she didn't sleep with the king. There's the heart again. That the ah! Senator, Lee herself, oh my god! Met her end in this very room during the final days of the revolution. Yeah, I remember learning about that. She was one of the staunchest supporters of the old republic. And she was killed. Here? In her own bedroom? That's so She terrible. seems way too young to be a part of a murder mystery type of thing. By all accounts, she did not go down without a fight. Revolutionary soldiers had stormed the grounds, but none who came in here survived. No one who came in here survived, but then how did she die? They even say that she sustained herself for days on the blood of the soldiers who kept coming for her. Okay. Well, points for ingenuity. I'll go oh. that. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's, that's not what I would say. A long time ago, there wouldn't still be any blood left here now, or anything. No, it was eaten by the spiders, you know? The spiders from the attic that are really? huge now. With all the red, it's rather difficult to say, isn't it? Who knows how much of it might have soaked into the floor, the walls... The bed. You, you know, like her nine husbands and this dress being red. You are right, my darling Charisse. It is all long past. A good tale for a night of ghost stories, perhaps. But thankfully, these are happier times. Yes. Uh, sort of. Still creepy, right? Dining hall. They have a dining hall. Okay, dining hall, uh, Colonel Mustard, and, here and the candlestick. The dining hall. I see He's Colonel Mustard. Has left some tea and coffee on the table for us. Coffee, please. And orange juice too, I hope. I'm running rather low. All this dry air, you know. You're drinking orange juice I'll see from to a it, champagne sir. cup. For me, just a spot of black coffee would be wonderful. Nobody drinks their coffee black. You're psycho. These you did it. These are formal tour of the estate, but our evening is far from over. Tonight, my friends, <laughs> is more than just a housewarming party. <laughs> that arm. That Before arm. Before the night is done, I have a oh, very boy. special announcement Nikhil. to make to you all. Mm-hmm. It's so dramatic. <laughs> Calm down, Sharice. Don't worry, my dear. You are safe with me. Okay. Thank you. I was just a bit startled. Okay, that's about all the emotion she's gonna show, right? Oh, heavens, yes. The light's going out. 
What horror! I dare say I may faint myself, delicate flower that I am. Sarcasm. Dripping with sarcasm. Flower? A noxious weed, perhaps. <laughs> oh, please, Miss Fortune, allow me. I've got you now. Oh, boy. Oh, what would we do without you? On second thought, you can enhand me. I seem to be quite all right. Oof. Good. Awkward. Good. Because Awkwardly puts his hand back inside his robe. About. It's <laughs> just a little blackout. Would you be so good as to check the breaker then, my dear Horatio? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, my talents will shed some light on all of us in Horatio, no time. are you gonna go fix the breaker for us? I appreciate it, man. Oh no! I absolutely adore oh, Horatio! Holmes. We knew him so well! So have problems with the wiring, don't Anytime they? somebody goes off by themselves, right? Excuse me, boss. Sir, there's a telephone call for you. A call for me? Here? Yeah. How mysterious. How mysterious. You, you know, at the house you just acquired. Why would anybody be calling you at the house you just acquired? Clops will fetch some candles for you so you can look around while Horatio works his magic on the lady. I will return very shortly. Okay. Yes, let's look around. I wish to look. I wish to do things. It's a lot of story, right? I wandered back to the king bedroom by myself to take a closer look at some of the decor. Okay. The elaborate carvings on the wooden bedpost intrigued me. Spirits and demons of all sorts circled and surrounded any lord who might sleep in this bed. Hmm. Was Kinda this creepy. Preferable? I wondered. And then sleeping in the arms of Lamaka Lee, blood drinker as she was rumored to be. Oh my lord. Please don't start rhyming. Don't do that. The air in the old house was still and thick with dust. But even had there been a draft, I doubt the black drapes by the room's window would have stirred. Even I was surprised by how thick and heavy the material was. No sunlight would have pierced its way into this room against its occupant's wishes. That mm. much was certain. Okay. Ah. Oh, Looks there's like the lights. court magician has managed to conjure back a little light for us after all. Ah, oh, that's a talent. So, what else we got? Okay, this is the bed with demons. The drapes. Oh, bookshelf. Had these books on the shelf belonged to the Lee family as well? Curious. I skimmed a few of the titles. Anything interesting? A we got Lord of the Rings the on there. Public. Genealogy of the Great Families. How to Train Killer Bats. Killer Bats. <laughs> Genghis Khan and the... 21 balloons. That's a All book. Dreadfully dull classics. What is Genghis sure. Khan doing with 21 balloons? I simply adore old chandeliers. Especially the ones that come crashing down unexpectedly on the heads of people I don't like. She is Modern creepy. light fixtures just don't have that same potential. <laughs> okay. Kinda true. Still kinda creepy. I'd hope that by taking a closer look at the ruined portrait, I might be able to discern who had been pictured. I could imagine no shortage of delicious reasons why a lord's portrait might be disfigured in a house such as this. Hmm. Shredded by a bitter servant when the master was thought absent. Savaged by an angry child who never quite lived up She's to She's got a really good imagination, though. Alas, the portrait seemed more a victim of old age than of some crime of passion. And of the face, I could make out nothing at all. Okay. At last no. I found Dude, you, Dude, I wasn't done looking. I you want to look some right more. Away. Uh, please. Okay, one eye. Whatever is the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost with that one eye of yours. There's no um, time to waste, miss. You should see for yourself. I really like his bow tie. His little green bow tie. 
It's like he's the most massive of all leprechauns. Gathering my skirts, I hurried after the hulking butler. Uh, sorry, valet. Back to the hall where we had first arrived. Gathering my skirts? From the urgency in his pace and in his voice, I knew that something had happened. But still... Oh. Okay, so... It was our host, Prince Titanic. Not Horatio. He was dead. That alone wouldn't scare me. Yeah, dead bodies I'm don't scare no me. I'm stranger to dead bodies. Nine husbands. But from the way he was lying, it was clear that his death was no accident. He mm -hmm. was murdered. And that meant that someone in the mansion was the murderer. Dun, dun, dun! Guess what? There's a murderer. How do we know this? Because there was a murderer. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm going to stop. All right. Ooh. I found the rest of the ladies. Now, Klops, what is this all about? Okay. I'm going to stop right there. We are almost at 30 minutes, I think. Um, but hopefully we've gotten past most of the story line at the beginning and we can actually start investigating soon. Um, but this is really interesting. I kind of like the the cheesy acting a little bit. It's a uh, well, it's very uh clue. If you've ever watched the movie, it is some serious overacting. And I am kind of liking the fact that they stuck to that. I'm still not understanding why it was never mentioned inside her letter that it was supposed to be a costume party. Maybe I just did not read that part. But uh, we'll see in the next episode what happens between Horatio and... Uh, well, we've got Colonel Mustard and we've got Scarlet... Uh, not Scarlet. Um, oh, what was the other one's names? Uh, I'll have to look it up, because I cannot remember right now. And then, of course, we've got the butler, who's not a butler. He, he's the world's lar largest leprechaun, yes. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and I'll see you next time. Bye!